All right, well, I bought a 500i. So a couple years ago, it was almost two years ago now when I quit working at Eastside, they had a 500i that I used a lot there. Um, it was totally stock and I really liked the saw and then I went out on my own and you know, I have a 462 so I just didn't really have a reason but I felt like I could justify buying the 500i but eventually I just couldn't stay away. I just had to get one. And I honestly think that the 500i, I think it's like the best all around big saw that you can have. It really kind of just comes down to the power to weight ratio. You just can't beat the power to weight ratio. It's also fuel injected. I went and I bought a 500i. I bought it from Gordy. He ported it for me and he put on all of his accessories. I've got a 32 inch steel light bar on it and uh, I'm excited to run it. I haven't really ran it uh, at all. And so I'm just out here. I've just, I've got several trees. It's not like a crazy job or nothing, but it's just <laughs> trees to cut down like always. So the 500i, I believe it's 13 and a half pounds. The 462 is about 13 pounds. This is 72 cc's, this is 80. So you get almost 10 cc's. Like this one's ported, so that's exciting my other one wasn't so it, like i say it just kind of comes down to the power to weight ratio so i've been having a lot of saw troubles lately like i got this husky here and i actually need to uh i actually need to take this to the repair shop because i don't know what's going on with it this is the 592 and when i'm running it oil it just oozes out of everywhere very little of it gets in the guide bar uh, my guide bar and my chain get really hot very little oils going in i've tried three different bars it's not the bar it's the saw the oil is just i wish the clutch cover was off i'd show you but it's just like oozing out of the clutch and everything so that's kind of frustrating i have to take that in to get repaired i took it into one place and they said it, it is going to be like six months before they could get any parts so i said forget it i'll try to find some place closer and now it's just riding in the back of my truck i haven't taken it anywhere so i've had that trouble my battery husky for no reason the other day i was doing a face cut and it just stopped working Battery's fine, everything's fine, normal, it's all in working order, but it just stopped working, so. So I bought this like $1,000 Makita, which is also 80 cc's, same size as the 500i, but the, the 500i, you know, the reason that I, I haven't gotten one is just because they're expensive. I think they're like 1,500 bucks or something. I bought I bought mine from Gordy, um, so I didn't go to the store to, to buy it, and uh, he gave me a good deal on it, but it's expensive. So I bought this Makita, it's $1,000 and um, 80 cc's, but, cuts really good and it just doesn't idle that well so you know i cut my pants with it the other day <laughs> so I, I got these other two big saws and finally i was like you know what just i'm just buying a 500i i think it's just the best all-around saw the thing is about this this is just kind of my anecdotal experience i feel like the huskies have great power and uh, i just have issues with them sometimes like here's my 395 this saw works perfect i love this saw i use it all the time this is the second one i've had though my first one it like it vibrates so much it kind of just rattled apart over time and i got a different one this 462 i've been running this for at least five years like a lot and i've done zero maintenance to it other than cleaning the air filter my 661 i just haven't had issues with these steals i just haven't um and some of the other saws give me trouble so i just got this i think it's going to be really reliable i think it's going to be really awesome and that's kind of why i think the 500i is just the best all-around saw it's light but it's got really good power you know you can put a short bar on it and you can climb with it you can put a long <laughs> what really sold me on the 500i was last summer and i went down to the redwoods with gordy and anton they were both running 500s. Gordy makes a suspension kit for it that like stiffens up the saw so it's not so jiggly and they were running 42 inch bars on theirs for some of those trees. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty light chainsaw, you know? Watching them pull those huge bars, I was just like, man, you just, the throttle response being fuel injected, you just can't beat this saw. I just really don't think you can. So 462 has been great, but you know, when I get burying it into, you know, 32 inch wood, it kind of, it could use a little more power, it feels like. So I just think all around for general tree service, you just can't beat the 500i. You can put a short bar on it for small trees or climbing, it's really light. You can run a pretty long long bar on these, these things too. So I finally bought one. Feels good to just have one again. So prob I'll probably take this all over the place and you know, just be nice to have one saw, especially because I do so much traveling. It's nice to have a saw that I have the option of, it'll, it'll do everything, you know? The saw will just, it's a nice middle ground. It's light, it's got a lot of power, really good throttle response, reliable auto-tune. So elevation changes, 
or you know anything uh, like I said if, if I go to a place with small trees I'll run a small bar a place with big trees I'll run a big bar it just does everything and uh, it, it feels good to finally have one again I've been <laughs> putting it off and I've been trying to but I, I really like the CC range that 80 CC range you know the 462 is a little bit smaller engine than the predecessors like the 461 and the 462 is a great saw I love it it's really light I have a 25 inch bar on mine and uh, I've just been using it for climbing mostly and it's pretty awesome. I, I don't have any complaints about this saw, but you're not putting a 42 inch bar on a 462. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna be running a 42 inch either, but just knowing that it can pull it if you really wanted to. 36 inch bar, no problem. So I love the 462, but I think this is gonna be my best all around saw, 500i. So, I'll just cut down some of these trees and film it and uh, you can watch me run my new chainsaw. And I did definitely have stolen the Hawaiian. I have culturally appropriated Randy the Mandy with the, uh, with the Hawaiian shirts. They are so great. They're so breathable. I can let my chest hairs breathe and I'm all about it. I'm wearing my tin helmet today too, just cause it's so much uh, cool. It's kind of gonna be hot today. It's just so much cooler than that, that fanner. And I'm not climbing, so I don't need the chin strap. You can see we got just a couple of uh, dead maples right here. I'm just gonna fall them into this into this area. So starting this saw is so easy. You just got this little bubble here. You push it, I don't know how many times. Just a handful of times. It's got no choke or nothing. You just push the bubble and uh, it's super easy to start. Even Even being ported and everything. Running a full comp chain today. kind of a little scary Whew. all right this cedar lost its top they're kind of crowding each other so we're gonna cut down that one give this one a chance to be a nice tree <laughs>
Nasty trees. Look at all that rot. Just gotta cut up this one and then this big dead maple. And then we're done. Look how powerful this saw is. Like, look how much air this thing sucks in. Look at my shirt. I mean, this thing is just gobbles up air. I mean, this thing just gobbles up air <laughs> and fuel. I right, get this big leaning dead maple covered in vines. Let me get the vines off. Probably bore cut this one. To be safe. to cut it's hard to clean up those dutchmen my my chain's dull i dulled it on the last tree but i just got one more so i'd rather just uh because this tree's kind of nasty i'd rather just deal with the like it still works but it's pretty dull i'd rather just deal with it than switch chains at the end of the day and uh just dull a second one you know i've only got this one tree to do Just the amount of weight the back strap of that tension wood can hold. You can see I'm all the way through. Kind of, I'm low on my back cut, uh, but it'll be fine. It leans hard, anyways. But it's just amazing what the weight that can hold. Cut the back strap below that other cut so that my saw doesn't get caught. <laughs> at the point like it cuts when I'm dogged in but it's hard to 
do any sort of carving or finessing with the tip or cleaning up Dutchman's you can see it's still like usable I can cut firewood with it but trying to do the face cut and bore cutting was really unpleasant <laughs> Swap chains. Look at all that dirt. I just would have dulled the second chain anyways. This tree is nasty. Just gotta cut this up. When we're done here, I gotta turn off the GoPro. It's overheating. All right. Well, that's it. Well, thanks for watching me run my 500i. <laughs> it's probably my favorite big saw of all time. I mean, power to weight ratio, reliability, fuel injection, you know, throttle response. I just don't think you can beat this saw. It worked great today. It's dull now. I gotta go home and sharpen it. But uh. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you need Arborist gear, check out my store, sappysupplies.com. If you want me to cut your trees, you can email me at uh, guiltyoftreason1 at gmail.com. I'd be happy to cut your trees down for you. I'm just about done here for the day. This is a down only. Um, he's going to clean it up. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.